There are two basic types of putter, those with a milled face and those with some sort of insert in the club face. The question is, what exactly is the difference and which option is better? Milled putters display a complex milled pattern on the club face where the design attempts to produce the best feel and sound. Insert putters have a soft insert, which could be some synthetic material or aluminum compound or even rubber designed to soften the sound and the feel. Precision milling is a marvel of modern engineering. Here, Bidinardi gives you a glimpse into the process. So, which is better and why? The difference is not so much in the design and construction, but rather in the sound and feel. Feel is definitely subjective and is linked directly to sound. A golfer feels that a putter is firmer if the sound off the face is louder or has a higher pitch. By contrast, a softer, lower pitch sound will cause the golfer to declare the putter as soft. Inserts give golfers this exact feel, therefore insert putters are considered as being softer than milled putters. With advanced technology, the variance between the two has largely diminished due to a process known as deep milling that makes for a very soft feel on the milled putters. Deep milling has the effect of allowing less contact between club face and ball, resulting in a softer sound, which translates to a softer feel. The fact is that it goes both ways. Today, you can find insert putters that are firmer than some milled products. Your choice is very personal, and only by practice and experience with different putters will you find what works and feels best for you. It is argued that insert putters have better distance control than milled putters. Studies and research, however, do not support this notion. The feedback from the putter would have a far greater influence on distance control and is largely affected by where you hit the ball on the face. It is very difficult on an insert putter to determine where you hit on the face. There won't be much of a difference in sound, and these putters are generally very forgiving. Direction won't be too badly affected, but distance could be way off. With the milled putter, if you miss the sweet spot, the click sound immediately lets you know. You will tend, therefore, to develop a more consistent center strike and improve your distance control. Another factor affecting distance control is ball roll. On longer putts, especially, the ball may skid or even become airborne before settling on a topspin. Ideally, you want the ball to leave the putter with topspin immediately for consistent results. Skids and bounces, even backspin, can set the ball off on the wrong track. Your putting style will have a major effect on the ball roll. If the putter has a higher loft and the ball is placed to the front of the stance, it will be easy to get the ball airborne. The resultant bounce and delayed topspin will make distance control a problem. Placing the ball back in the stance with a lower loft putter will produce a skid, equally unsatisfactory. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.